What is Nestorianism? This false doctrine was invented by Nestorius, who was Patriarch of Constantinople from 428 to 431. Jesus Christ has in reality two natures, one divine and one human, which are different but united in one person. Nestorius, on the other hand, claimed that in Christ there was a divine person and a human person, but they were not united into one person, but were separated in Jesus Christ, and that Mary should not be called Mother of God or God-bearer. According to Nestorius's opinion, Mary did not give birth to Jesus as a full-fledged God, but only in his human nature, and Jesus her son was born as a man. He received his divine nature as a descendant of David, which he was, Nestorius thought. In the report of Nestorius, the child that Mary gave birth to was Jesus, but not the eternal God as the Bible says in John 1.1. Also, he said in one of his Christmas sermons that it is degrading to worship God in a crib. He would call Mary the mother of Christ, so Christotokos, but not the Theotokos, so mother of God. Whereas everything in Christianity revolves around Christ, so does this, because our Virgin Mary did not give birth to a man but to our beloved God. The title of God-bearer does not mean that the Virgin Mary gave birth to the Trinity, nor that she was the source of the Godhead and existed before God, nor that she gave birth to the Father and the Holy Spirit. The God-bearer is and remains part of the incarnation of the God-man Jesus Christ, who possessed different two natures, 100% divine and 100% human, which were together in Jesus, thus in a hypostasis in him, however not mixed, changed, and merged. Therefore, the Virgin Mary with her title is in no way a kind of goddess or the light. Virgin Mary gave by her, yes, God, the earthly life, to the Incarnation. The new false doctrine of Nestorianism about another new Jesus Christ has caused much confusion in the past, and Nestorius actually preached another Jesus than the one always preached, because even the Bible warns us about such incidents in the future. You obviously accept it when someone comes along and preaches a different Jesus than we preached? To clarify these theological heresies, a council was called to clarify the issue, and one of the most famous heresies against Christianity was rightly rejected and rejected, since this heresy contradicted the truth of God's incarnation and fatally undermined the doctrine of salvation. In the council, this heresy was then rejected by Orthodoxy and Nestorius, and his teaching were banished. The Orthodox canon even say, If anyone will not confess that Emmanuel, Jesus Christ, is true God, and that therefore the Holy Virgin is the Mother of God, Theotokos, because she bore in the flesh the Word of God, made flesh, as it is written, the Word became flesh, let him be anathema. Unfortunately, Nestorius then spread his heresy in new areas in the East to which he fled, which are still taught today, for example, by groups India, Persia, Syria, Iraq, who call the heretic Nestorius a saint and represent his point of view or try to justify him. Meanwhile, Nestorianism is also represented by some Protestants. Be careful. God bless.